What's up everybody? Gary Steinman here back at the Ubisoft booth at E3 2014. I'm here with Dan Hay, executive producer on Far Cry 4. Dan, what an amazing showing you've had so far, starting with the most amazing reveal of all, Pagan Min. Who is Pagan Min? He's complex, right? You think about what it takes to make a character like that. First thing, you kind of judge a book by its cover. He comes out, he's got the platinum blonde hair, he's got the, the pink suit, and you think, okay, I understand what this guy is, and then you meet him, and he's completely different, right? We wanted to give him an element of charm, we wanted to give him an element of sophistication, and then we take a guy like that, we put him in charge of a country for 20 years where his face is on the money, he can do whatever he wants, nobody ever says anything no to him, anything he wants. I hate when things get out of control. Here's the thing, here's a little tidbit about Pagan Man, okay? Pagan Min wears that suit as an homage to his mom. I didn't know that. Really. So when you're making fun of the suit, you're making you're making fun of his mom. And That's I sacred not, stuff. I would not make fun of Pagan Min's mom. Fucking Jeffrey, you couldn't fucking do that. There's a relationship, and I don't know what that relationship is, but there's a relationship with Pagan and AJ. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it, or, or what we're hinting at even? I recognize those eyes anywhere. Here's what I like about AJ, right? For the first time, this is a character where you're from that place. Right. You actually show you've been to that place right. before. You come back, and the player and the character are discovering that together in lockstep. I think that the fact that we give you a last name that's important in the world, that's important in Kirat, and the fact that people recognize it everywhere you go, people are like, oh, okay, I know who you are, and you don't okay. even know who you are. All right. But the game is a reflection of that. And then as you go through the open world, and you, you sort of you imbibe in the anecdote factory, right, right. you're riding all the elephants, you're flying through, you're playing in co-op, you're doing whatever it is that you want to do from the standpoint of having fun, the game will begin to reflect that a bit, and I think that's what makes it special. Speaking of characters, another real character in the game, the world itself. Karat, it's uh, in the Himalayas. How did you make it look so good and real? One of the things we did is we sent a group of guys over there, and they to, came back. To, to the Himalayas. Yeah, absolutely. And so when you look at AJ walking out in the demo, and look, you see that 12,000 feet, and you look out in the vista, and you see all these little outposts and smoke, all these opportunities, you realize, my god, this is huge. And so it's all about fidelity, it's all about iteration, and it's all about talent. Are you telling me that anything I see, I could actually reach? What we want to be able to do is basically say, stand on the cliff, look out, and entertain the possibility of going out and doing what you want to do for how long you want to do it. We want you to be able to get out in the open world. The star of Far Cry 3 was the open world. The star of Far Cry 4 is the open world with a story that's going to complement that and make it work, and characters that know each other, and everything interrelated, even co-op being put in that, but not messing with your single-player experience. By making that all work together, and making it all effortless, or feel effortless, although it wasn't effortless to make it, it's, it's super, super important that we make it feel like you can fall into the world. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> 